Kissing Me Studios, and today we are going to be doing my top 5 favorite Godzilla movies. And now, I've already done a top 10 favorite Godzilla movies, but, um, you know, I just feel like my thoughts have changed on my favorite Godzilla movies since my last one, and um, also since I've already done my Godzilla reviews, I felt it was necessary to do a uh, favorite Godzilla movie list. So, coming in at number 5. I have Destroy All Monsters. Now, made in 1968, this was supposed to be the movie to end all Godzilla movies. And uh, what a fantastic way to end it, I have to say. Bringing in all the monsters, almost all the monsters that Toho had used before in its uh, current monster movies, or previous monster movies, excuse me. Um, it was just awesome. They brought them all in together, went out, destroyed the world. And it was just amazing. Also, that final battle where you got so many monsters in it in one scene. It was just glorious. Glorious movie. If you have not seen this, you definitely have to see this movie. It is amazing. And, um, yeah, uh, my only gripes with the movie would be that it the human scenes aren't completely interesting. And, uh, you know, some, some monsters like Varen and Baragon only had quick cameos. But... We can forgive that um, due to this movie's uh, glorious, it's, it's just a glorious movie. So, yes, Destroy All Monsters. And coming in at number four, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, made in 1991. Now, this was my, uh, this used to be my favorite Godzilla movie when I was a kid, so that's part of the reason. Also, because they went into Godzilla's origin, showing that he was a dinosaur named a Godzillasaurus um, on Lagos Island previously uh, in World War II um, before he was the atomic testing came and he was uh, transformed into the Godzilla we know and love today. They, they really went into his origin story. Plus, you got King Ghidorah in his glorious, glorious new form. I know I've been saying glorious a lot, but truly, it is fantastic. What they did to King Ghidorah um, made him look a lot more fierce. Changed his roar, although it is, uh, if you notice, it was Rodan's roar. That's probably one of my only gripes with the movie. Um, it also goes back kind of to a show-off feeling where it's got um, just a fun, uh, campy, you know, feeling to it. Uh, but also the monster fight scenes are fantastic. Um, another reason I, I love this movie is because... They brought back they brought back Akira Ikufa Bay's music, which was fantastic. I love it. Um, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, go check it out. Um, and yeah, so at number three, I have Godzilla Mothra King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters All Out Attack, also known as GMK to the fans. Um, this movie, oh my gosh, uh, taking Godzilla to it back to his dark evil roots just amazing fantastic uh another thing i love about this movie is that they bring in other monsters that would normally be like bad monsters like king Ghidorah. they turn him into a guardian monster which is very interesting to see a you know a take on king Ghidorah being a good guy also baragon i, I believe the only other movies he was in is Frankenstein Conquers the World and Destroy All Monsters. And his bigger part was in Frankenstein Conquers the World, where he was the enemy of Frankenstein. And I believe he was bad. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. But anyway, so I kind of got off track. But Giant Monsters All Out Attack. Fantastic. Like, glorious, glorious movie. Um, you know, it was made by the director who made the... Uh, Heisei Gamera films. He's an awesome director. Um, really making Godzilla an evil, evil character. Um, I believe his origin is that he was... Uh, he was... He was remade by the souls of soldiers in World War II that were killed. And um, it, it's a very interesting origin. Still very dark, which is what I love. I love dark Godzilla movies. And you will see in my next, uh, you'll see why in my next two. I mean, these last three, they, these are just dark, dark Godzilla movies. But yeah, so 
Number three, GMK. Check it out. It is awesome. So, at number two, it is the one that started it all. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, also known as Gojira to the Japanese. Um, this movie, whether it's the English or Japanese version, totally struck fear into the hearts of men and women all across the world. Just a fantastic movie. Like, this this movie revolutionized monster movies in a way. Starting up the kaiju franchise. Um, and it is just amazing. A very dark, serious tone to it. Um, I think this is one of the only movies where we see Godzilla actually killing people. Like, looking down on people and killing them. Uh, he also did that in GMK, but, I mean, that's about it. Um, but yes, Godzilla 1954, fantastic, very suspenseful movie, um, very awesome. So make sure to check it out. If you're not a, if you're a Godzilla fan and you have not seen this film, what are you doing? Go watch it. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then at number one, um, before we get to number one, I want to give some honorable mentions. So uh, a few are Godzilla vs. Biollante. Uh, Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla vs. Destroya, Godzilla 2000, The Millennium. Um, very awesome movies. Go check them out. And at number one, I have Godzilla 1984. Made in 1984, it is also called um, The Return of Godzilla. That is the, en the English uh, version. They also called it 1985, which I really don't know why. Maybe it was because it was re released then. But... Aside from that, the movie is fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is this is the perfect Godzilla movie because what they did was, um, they t they connected it to, uh, 1954. It's basically a reboot, like pretty much all the other movies. Um, it's it it also started up the Heisei series, but as a movie itself, it is also just amazing because the suit, the music, everything about this movie is a dark, eerie, gritty tone and i just love it. it it gives you chills down your spine when you see him every single time i kid you not and this was my last godzilla movie to ever see and it is just fantastic i love it go check it out if you have not um unfortunately it's pretty much the hardest godzilla movie to find so i mean that that makes it difficult to find but still it is amazing if you have not seen it go check it out and, uh, yeah, so that's my top five Godzilla movies. Um, make sure to leave a comment saying what yours are. And, yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.